Welcome everyone, this is the Cynical Mania and welcome back to another episode of the Carry Diaries. And today I have a very nice special replay lined up for you in the ever reliable T1 25, the original, the OG Captain America. So yeah, I had this game uh, this was the last game in a very, very, very disappointing lineup of games I had in uh, one night. And I was just about to quit. I said, come on, let's just one more game in the E5. Why not? And then I got this game. Uh, not only is it a good game, I also completed the mission uh, without, uh, without realizing it. I had it uh, checked, never expected it. Uh, the only thing going to my mind is I wanted to win the game, obviously. Uh, never really paid any attention to what mission I had. I had been there. Uh, the mission in question is not even a scratch for the objective 60, which I had completed before, but I didn't get the secondary objectives, which gave me two days of premium. Um, Yes, early, early beginnings, one shot at a sneaky snipe at the Centurion 1, I penetrate obviously. Um, and this is the, the position I usually take in my heavy tanks uh, on uh, Ensk encounter, depends on obviously if I'm on this side, I go here, if I'm in a platoon, I risk going to the cap, although I don't usually do that when I'm alone. Otherwise I just stay here and uh, snipe at tanks over on that side of the map or engage people who come down uh, the railway line. Another sneaky shot in the villa, he bounces on me which was very nice. So a very Unauspicious start, very calm, nothing too extraordinary, and then they decide to push up, be more aggressive as, the, as it were. And I decide to go over to this uh, position because I, uh, I can uh, engage people coming to the, on the left and also people coming, like I said, on the real, uh, near the railway tracks on the right. An unfortunate bounce on the side of the 215B. I tried to feather a shot in the Death Star, but I don't get it. It was on the other side of the spring tracks. And here I make a bit of a mistake. I attempt to side scrape uh, the T-30 however I kind of over angled tank as you can see here and now the E5 has okay-ish side armor however if you over angle the armor um, it's not so much the side armor as the inner drive wheel it's very weak and as you can see if you get penetrated the shot usually goes into the lower plate and damages that's exactly what happens to me right here and i take a pretty 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 big shot in return which wasn't good obviously but no biggie this is the spoiler alert this is the last shot i ever take in this game so yeah now the 75 decides to come and attack track him which is very good now I come in close which gives him one of two things uh, he either has to go for the lower plate but he couldn't so he sh took a shot at my tumor on cupola whatever you want to call it that thing on top of the turret he bounces and there's another tracking shot however this guy has a decent repair clue crew clue repair clue what the hell is that uh, try to take a shot at whatever that was CDC or Tiger 2 I don't really know but I missed 
take a bounce a shot from the TVP. Nah, the TVP has no chance of penetrating me frontally. Uh, unless I give, a, give him a flush shot on my lower plate. And now, I mean, I mean, this guy, the Oho, I really, I, I just, I don't know what the hell he was doing. But, uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. Just one shot, two shots. Pretty sure I'm gonna go, uh, get a third shot into him. 1113 damage to the Oho. Free of charge, of course. The TVP just kind of. Uh, what am I gonna do? Let's uh, shoot at the front of uh, E5. Yes, because that works. Yeah, so he bounces with APCR. Kill the E75. I bounce uh, another. Ah, uh, I thought it was from another tank, but uh, another shot from the TVP. I kill him. And then I spot a Borsig Waffentrager. Of course, fortunately I didn't have uh, high explosive loaded, but I take an initial shot. And then I load the high explosive. And then Mr. Derp McDerpington comes around me. YOLO! Yeah, that, that was only gonna go one way. And this is where I take my high explosive shot into the Borsig. And here it comes. Boom! 591 damage. That was creamy. That was beautiful. That was just, 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 just. This is, this is, this is why you shoot high explosive into waffle tractors. And then suddenly a wild object 704 appears, and he helps derps. I want to track and damage him, but I, on, I only do. I only track him. Now from this position, it's very difficult for, for the object 704 to actually do damage to me because I, as you can see, all he has to shoot at is a portion of my lower plate, however it's obstructed by this, these pylons. So it's a very difficult shot, especially for a derpy gun like the 704, like the BL-10. He shoots, he misses obviously. I take a return shot. And then from here on I just farm damage on the object, it's really, I mean, what is this here? Oh, let's, let's, let's just, because it didn't work the first time, let's try it again, it's herp, derp, derp, derp. And he has no, no chance. Unfortunately, kind of a low roll, I live, I live him on uh, 65 health. 64 actually, never mind. Moving on, suddenly the Mr. Grille 15 decides to, for some reason, reveal his position instead of doing what, it, what he's doing now and, and what he should have done. Uh, that is to come uh, around and flank me and try to flank me anyway. But yeah, my spider sense is, is tingling and any moment now, any moment now. I keep looking to the right, expecting the gorilla to come out and play. Obviously, he will. Any moment now. There he is. And I have to admit, this was an amazing shot. I honestly didn't expect to hit it, but I did. And bang. And right now, I, I honestly don't know why I didn't charge the 704 to get uh, my uh, fifth kill, but. He got killed by the Type 4 Heavy and right now, okay, so how many people want to bet, how many of you want to bet that uh, the Borsig is more or less identically in the same position he was when I last spotted him? Any takers? Yes? No? Maybe? Hello? Hello? Surprise, motherfucker! Is he in the same position? I wonder. There he is. And yeah. Sad times are sad. He shoots my track. I kill him. And that is the end of the game. Um, let's go over to the battle results. And see exactly what I did.
Okay, here we are in the battle results screen. As you can see, very pretty, pretty game. Many ribbons, many ribbons, a stanker, uh, steel wall for blocking the damage, of course, and the high caliber, unsurprisingly, for the monstrous 8000 damage that I did. Five kills, one short of a top gun. Didn't happen, oh well, moving on, 1465 base experience in a tier 10 tank is not easy to get. Uh, the guy after me did uh, this nice T95, did 4k damage, which is not a bad result of course, but still only half of what I did. Uh, and the next guy after that, a tier 8 medium tank Centurion Mark 1 did more damage than all the rest of these guys, shame on them, T54 Borsi Gisu Type 4, this Stupid weird chicken coop Death Star uh, T62 not even 1k damage shame on all of you and on the enemy team it was even worse but that is good because it allowed me to get a great game da da of course shots fire 28 direct hits 25 22 penetrated is okay could be better damage blocked by armor uh, 4k as you can see, hits received 11 out of which only 2 penetrated. But that is not all. Damage upon detecting 3.2k, which is very nice. And because I didn't fire a single premium round, I made a nice 35,000 credit bonus. Without a premium account. With a premium account it would have been even more. Which is not bad for a 7 minute game, I think. So, yeah. Um, nice game overall. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Kevin is coming in hot, gold loaded and I was praying to the IG guys, don't miss, don't miss and of course I miss. I get cracked by the artillery and I get left on 17 